what is the difference between a winner and a loser? The winner never quits, and the quitter never wins. <laughs> this is a truism attested to by the experience of successful people all over the world. The four success stories that I will tell you today attest to this truism. Story number one, Steve Jobs founded Apple. Later on, he was fired by the board as the board agreed to the vision of a new hire which conflicted with that of Steve's. When you are fired, what happened? Steve Jobs was feeling humiliated and devastated for months. But that was not for long. Eventually, he bounced back. He went back to his first lab. He developed Pixar and eventually reacquired Apple as Pixar was the heart of Apple technology. Steve Jobs had that firm belief in himself that he can come back and he went back to Apple with vengeance. He developed Pixar, the world's first animated picture computer that makes Apple what it is today. It has 872 billion market all over the world. Story number two, Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison conducted 1,000 experiments, failed experiments, before he got it right. Invented the light bulb after more than 1,000 experiments. And he was interviewed. And the interviewer asked him, how does it feel to fail 1,000 times? And this was his response. I did not fail 1,000 times. I proved that there were 1,000 steps <laughs> to do it right. His dream continuously lighted his path towards perfecting the experiment on the light bulb, light bulb until he did it right. Eventually, Edison became the richest entrepreneur of his time. Third story. Sir James Dyson, the inventor of the bagless vacuum cleaner from England. It took him 15 years, 15 long years and 5,126 experiments before he did it right. His failure never diminished his determination to do it right. His passion, persistence, and belief in himself eventually paid off after he succeeded in his experiment. It was a hit, not in the UK right away, but in Japan, where he received his first industrial award. He was one of the top 20 wealthiest people in England and one of the top 500 wealthiest people in the world, and the bagless vacuum cleaner as a market of more than four billion now. Fourth story, Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States of America. He was gifted the highest political office by the American electorate after losing not once but four battles. Lincoln believed in keeping on running until he wins and he won after losing four times. 
what are common attributes to these high achievers? They have confidence in themselves. They are determined to succeed in life. They love what they do. They are so passionate. And they persisted and never wavered in their quest for the realization of their dreams. Their failures inspired them to work even harder and become focused in achieving their goals. They believe in themselves and in expanding their capabilities to adapt to changes until they do it right. Their failures did not deter them. It served as engines that ignited their passion and determination to succeed. Fellow Toastmasters, these people, Steve Jobs, Lincoln, Sir Dyson, and Edison, brought us progress and ease of living. Lincoln revolutionized political, revolutionized and modernized political thinking in the United States of America. Edison and Dyson gave us light bulb and ease in cleaning households all over the world. Steve Jobs unleashed the creativity of his, the power of his creativity and uh, creativity and imagination to invent products that change communication all over the world in dramatic ways. They never said no. They were never dented by failures and frustrations. They kept on bouncing back. They never quit. They were all winners. How about you, fellow Toastmasters? Are you winners? What road do you take to attain your dreams? Mr. Toastmaster, 